Hey everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards, and I told you I would come on today and show you some of my bunny wood stamps and just basically spring animal stamps. Mm. So I've been cleaning my craft room all morning long. I'm sorry I didn't get to this video last night. I just got too tired. It's been a long work week. Um, but anyway, I thought I would come on and show you uh, the different bunnies that I have in my stash just for fun. These are ones that I've collected over 30 some odd years. I don't know, however long it's been. Um, and uh, this particular, a lot of these wood stamps I did not pull out last year at all. Last year I did most of my Easter um, and spring stamping using my photopolymer stamps. Um, and I just left these put away because of COVID. These were, um, my son was using the, the basement as his schoolroom, so I just couldn't pull everything out. Um, you know, so it was fun to dig these out again and look at them all again this year. So this is one from Imagine That. And uh, I love the sweet little bunny um, angel. And uh, I love the detailing that they have with the star, the little dots, and uh, the little hearts on her dress. So this is just really sweet, um, you know, a really sweet image. And I th I've seen a lot of people use this stamp. Um, this was, uh, I believe, a thrift store purchase. There's a little sticky residue on here I still need to clean off. Um, and I've had this one. I think this is Imaginations, too. Yeah, they're one of my favorite uh, stamp companies. Um, and I look at these. I look for imagine um, Imagination stamps when I'm thrifting and garage sailing. And back in the day when my husband and I would go antique mall shopping because there were often craft supplies there and stamps there also. So, um, but we got a lot of things uh, back in the day for a quarter, you know, a dime, 50 cents. And uh, some of these are from those days um, of thrifting. And uh, so this is just a really sweet bunny stamp. And uh, I love how the carrots are in the pockets. Um, I love that one. And then this was, I think, a thrift store purchase. Um, and this one says love. And uh, this is um, also an imaginations. And you can kind of tell sometimes by the artist, um, by the artistry uh, that it looks like one of their images. And I love her dress because her dress, of course, is covered in carrots. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. And I love the little bow in her hair with the little hearts hanging down um, and the fact that it says love right there. So that's a really sweet one. And then um, these are Daisy Kingdom stamps. And um, I I scored like a bunch of these at a thrift store one time. I think it was a thrift store or was it a garage sale? I'm not sure. I can't remember for sure now. But um, and then others I've picked up just over the years here and there. But um, I love these sweet bunnies. And uh, they're, they're fun to... Um, Daisy Kingdom is Portland, Oregon. And these are back from the 80s. So I don't know, you know... I'm sure a lot of them are still in existence today because the images are timeless. Um, this one, you know, one of the tips, I don't know if I've ever said this to you guys, but try not to ever stack. Like if you're working with a bunch of stamps and you want to stack them to get them out of the way, always stack them rubber to rubber, okay? And that keeps you from ruining your wood blocks by getting um, ink on them. Okay, so it's a really good tip to remember that if you're going to stack them on your desk, stack them rubber to rubber. Okay, so uh, just a little tip. I probably will be able to get this off with some alcohol. I just didn't have any, um, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'll, I'll play around with cleaning that off one of these days. Uh, I'm not very good at cleaning my stamps. It's one of my, probably my weakest things. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll get a wild hair, and I'll take a bunch of them upstairs and do it, but um, I need to do it. You can tell I need to do it uh, on some of these that were thrifted because they have ink stains on them, but it doesn't deter from the stamp itself, you know, so this one is so cute because the little lamb is pulling the bunnies in the wagon, and I just think this one's adorable, and it, this, again, is Daisy Kingdom, and uh, there's the information, R43 from 1988. So I just think this one's adorable. Um, and then I have some little lambs, okay? And uh, let's see, I don't think this one has any information on it. This one doesn't either. These are just little lamb stamps. And these are great for the backs of your cards. This is um, an Azadi Earls, and it's a little lamb angel. And I love how on these ones, they did these little swirls in the sheep's wool to make it look woolly. So these ones are really fun um, to color. So 
really cute little lamb. And then I love this one. This is a Daisy Kingdom. And uh, this little lamb is just adorable because it's got little flowers, like a flower wreath almost around its neck. And uh, so I really like that one. And this one looks really cute. Like you can put a little fence or some, something or even a, him looking down on a bunny um, is really cute. So you can stamp a bunny and have them be together on the card front. And then here's another one uh, of the, the lambs with the woolly coat you can see. And I'm sorry, I'm not showing you the sides. F863 is the number of this one. And again, that's Azadi Earls. This other one, did I show you the number, is J756. So um, those are lambs. And then this one is also, this one is also a lamb. And it has little um, swirls in it. But this one's by Imagine That. And this one's J558. Okay. And uh, she's got a cute little dress on. And I love her little shoes. Aren't those cute? So, so sweet. Um, so let me go like that. And then uh, here's another one that is Azadi Earls. And this one, she's holding flowers and she has a flower on her hat and a little bow. And uh, again, look at her shoes. So I just love this one. And she's really fun to color and also to paper piece. Um, so we'll put those two together. And then this one is one that I got uh, fairly recently at a thrift store. And I think, did I show this to you guys already? I'm not sure. I bought it as a one-off, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. And this one is, does this have, yeah, I think it does. Jeez. I, I cannot read what that says, you guys. Maybe you can. Something stamp exchange, I think. I'm trying to look through the camera to read it, but I can't. So, but anyway, I, I saw this at the thrift store and I think I paid like $1.99 for it, but it's a big stamp. You can see the size of it. And it just is so cute because the bunny is looking down on the carrots. <laughs> She's standing on the watering can. So I'm hoping to color this one up. I just think it's so sweet. And I was really excited to find this one. This is probably the newest one I'm gonna show you today. And, uh, and then this one is a 1993 Penny Black, and it's this cute little pig, and she's holding a bouquet of flowers and has a sweet little dress on. Look at her dress. The detail on her dress is so cute. So she's really fun to color. Um, let's see. Here's a little fence that I have that goes good with the, um, some of the smaller lambs. So you can see that these two, I think I've stamped together before back in the day. And this again is in another Azadi Earls. It's just a little bit smaller. So uh, then there's this one. This one's a little bit damaged, but this one is two little bunnies standing back to back and they're friends. And I just think it's adorable. And uh, you can paper piece their dresses in two different, um, uh, two different papers. And it turns out really, really cute. So, and this one is Art Impressions, yeah, from Salem, Oregon, okay? And uh, I forget how that got, it got scratched really bad. Um, then this is one that was at Ben Franklin Crafts back in the day, which is on the way to Eastern Washington when I go to visit Stewart's family. And uh, this is a 1988 Daisy Kingdom, okay? And uh, it's just the little bunny with the two lambs and then she's got a staff in her hands as well as little flowers on both edges so really sweet that one's adorable and uh this is another daisy kingdom and in this one uh she's looking down and picking flowers just adorable so really sweet and i love these daisy kingdom bunnies they're some of my favorites um, this one is another Daisy Kingdom, and she's holding a basket of flowers. So, and then this one is for a card. Uh, my father in love is a fisherman, and my brothers and stuff fish. And so, this one's really cute for spring birthdays for um, for the men in your family who like to fish. And uh, this again is uh, Darcy's Country Folk, which is another company that I really love. Back in the day, um, really fun, uh, kind of country style images, obviously. But um, this one can also be paper pieced or colored, and uh, it turns out really cute. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have just a few more. 
Um, then I have this one, and I can't remember, I think someone gifted me this one. I'm pretty sure. This one is Rubber Stampede, and you know, it doesn't have a name on it, but I'm pretty sure someone just gifted me this. So whoever gifted me this, thank you very much. And it's just adorable. And I'm looking forward to coloring this one. And then um, this little one is, uh, let's see, who is this one? This is Azadi Earls again. But I just like this one because the little bunny is hanging from the clothesline. And then there's a little rag doll over here. So, and the carrot upside down, if you can see that, is hanging upside down. So this one's cute for Easter also. And then I have two bed ones, and I think I've shown these to you guys before, and I use these for get well cards in the spring, um, or any time really. And these, this one is a Darcy, um, this is Country Folk Products, Darcy Hunter. And, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you. It's uh, 1992, let's see, and it's T0377. So this one, uh, the little bunny is in bed and is holding on to its teddy bear. And I love the quilt in this one. And then on this one, the quilt is in the better sideways view. And they're saying their goodnight prayers. So isn't that cute? And this one is also Darcy's um, Hunter and Darcy Country Folk. So anyway, so those are all of my bunnies. And I just thought I would come on and share these. I thought it would be fun. My bunnies and my lamb collection with a few other things thrown in, like the little pig and stuff. And uh, and then I, I, uh, I think that was all I was going to share. So those are all of them. Um, I do have other Easter stamps, but the majority of them, um, the other things I have are like Stampin' Up! Red Rubber, um, which I didn't pull those out. And uh, I do have some photopolymer sets and uh, Susan Laverty just gifted me a set that has a bunny in it. So I'm just trying to gather the things that I wanna work with for spring and Easter because it's gonna go by really quick. It does every year and I always think I'm gonna get a bunch of things done and I just don't. So I thought I would pull these out this weekend and just choose a couple things because I do have some birthdays and different things coming up and I have some cards that I need to get made. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these. Um, you know, it is, for those of us that have been stamping for many years, we treasure the ones that we're able to, to purchase and find. Um, each one is like an old friend, especially after you've colored them in the past um, and paper pieced them and done different projects with them over the years, used them in albums and things like that. Um, I used to do scrapbooking and I would put them on scrapbook pages and uh, different things like that. So it's always fun to pull them out because you also have memories that, that go through your mind as you're looking at them. And um, I have lots of fond memories of different things that I've done with stamps over the years. So thank you guys for taking a peek. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I might, if you like this, let me know because I could come back and show you some of my spring flowers also um, because I love, spring is my favorite time of year as far as um, bulbs and spring blooms are some of my favorite. I love daffodils. I have, I grow many different varieties in my garden and um, I also love tulips. So I do have some stamps related to that kind of stuff um, and I may come back and share those. I don't have them all assembled right now so I can't really share them with you. But um, I wanted to at least share the bunnies and the lambs and the little pig too that I have. So this is the only pig that I have. Isn't that cute? So anyway, thanks for taking a peek. I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday. I have got to get on to my laundry and housework and dishes. So that's what I'm headed to do. I spent my three hours this morning in the craft room picking up and cleaning up. And uh, I'm, I'm partway there. It's looking a lot better. So that makes it a lot easier to get some uh, crafty time in once things are organized. So I know a lot of you are doing the same thing because I saw some posts on Instagram of people working in their craft rooms. So anyway, everybody enjoy your day. Bye now.